hello everybody, I'm your host, Bart Chessman. Welcome to Woodbury's favorite game show, Golf, Sand, Snow, or Sweet. The show that tells you how you should clean your sidewalks in the winter. In this game, our contestants are posed with a scenario, and the answer to the situation is either salt, sand, shovel, or sweep. Whoever answers the most questions by the end of the game wins. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's meet our contestants. Our first player is Susan. Susan, it says here, you once went an entire winter without shoveling. Tell us more about that. That's true, Bart. I was living in Florida, so I didn't shovel all winter long. <laughs> How about that? You don't say. Okay, let's begin. Scenario number one, Susan. Susan, you applied salt to your driveway a few days ago, and the ice on your driveway has melted. But there are still some salt remnants. What do you do with the leftovers? Salt, sand, shovel, or sweep? Sweep, Bart. You sweep it up and reuse it. That's correct. Also, be sure to store the swept up salt in a container that's covered in a manner so it doesn't come in contact with the ground when it's not in use. 100 points for Susan. Let's meet our next contestant, Samson. Samson, it says here you can often be found sweeping ice. Yeah, I'm a member of the curling team. Well, that's great for you, Samson. Samson, let's get to your next scenario. A major ice storm occurs in the area that you live leaving a half inch of ice on your sidewalk. You're worried pedestrians might slip and fall because the ice cannot be removed with a shovel. Samson, do you salt, sand, shovel, or sweep? Uh, scatter? That's not an answer, Samson. Oh, scatter the salt to minimize the safety risk. That is correct. And, if any salt remains after the ice melts, be sure to sweep it up. Fun fact, a coffee cup of salt is all you need for about 50 feet of sidewalk. Sand would also have been an acceptable answer, since it does provide traction. 100 points for you. All right, let's meet contestant number three, Steve. Steve, it says here you once fought off a grizzly bear with nothing more than a fish hook. That's true, Bart. It's an amazing true That's story. That's great. Yeah. Well, let's go to our next scenario. Scenario number three is it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit and you just shoveled three inches off your driveway. But beneath it is a thin layer of ice that can't be removed with a shovel. Should you salt, sand, shovel, or sweep? Well, you should salt, obviously. It melts the ice. Sorry, Steve. That is incorrect. <laughs> Use sand to provide traction. Salt is not effective when temps fall below 15 degrees. You lose 100 points. Okay, Susan, here's your next scenario. Last night, it snowed an inch, but the forecast calls for a high of 34 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 20 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Susan, do you salt, sand, shovel, or sweep? Shovel. You gotta shovel that snow off so it doesn't melt and refreeze. Correct again! <laughs> Shoveling will avoid causing a safety hazard and salt won't be used unnecessarily. Uh-oh! That sound means we're running out of time. So here's our final blizzard question worth 500 points. Everybody ready? Here's the scenario. You were running late for work and didn't have time to shovel the three inches of snow that was on your driveway when you left, thus creating those pesky, compacted tire tracks that can't be removed with a shovel. However, the forecast calls for a high of 40 degrees the next day. Do you salt, sand, shovel, or sweep? You should shovel, Bart, because the warming temperatures will make the tire tracks easier to remove. That is correct. Congratulations to Steve, tonight's big winner. Thanks to Steve and all of our contestants, and thanks to all of you for watching. Remember, it only takes one teaspoon of salt to pollute five gallons of water, so use it sparingly. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Bart Chessman. Good night, everybody. Go, Sam, go,